G'day. Welcome back to Minecraft Down Under. This is episode 32. So guys, last flaming episodes, well last couple episodes, we'll be working on the base. You know, we got the, we got a really cool elevator installed. It's not really a, it's a hell elevator, as some of the fans called it. We got the front worked out, as you can see, coming along beautifully. And just last episode, we started on a iron farm to sit on top. That's right, our very first non-nether farm, because we're up to episode 32, we've already completed, literally completed, a crazy XP farm from hell. I don't even know what to call it. It's, it's, it's the fastest XP farm I've ever, ever built. Um, it's absolutely nuts, so go check that out if you haven't already. I've, I've already put a showcase video on my channel, you just have to go over to my channel. It will be should be on the front page, should be. <laughs> don't hold me to that. But I've, we've already done two showcases for this uh, series, so it'd be really nice if we can get more of the base done, if you know what I mean. Now, over the weekend, well, uh, towards the end of last week, I should say, I hit a thousand levels. I actually made a dedicated video of me hitting a thousand. Yay! I actually hit a thousand and twenty-four, as you can see. That, all those thousand plus levels is all in survival. That's right, all legit, 100%, um, through my crazy XP farm of doom. So, yeah, uh, that was hit at the end of last week, plus showcase video, so go watch that if you haven't already. Now, we need to continue on our iron farm, and you're probably wondering who won the competition. So we had a competition over the weekend, I don't know if you guys remember it, but we had a competition for who was going to be the, the aggro zombie this time. Last time we, had, we picked a name out of livestream chat, this time we, got, we picked a name out of the comments. That's right, so... I literally picked a name out of comments. So how I did it this this time around, I had a wheel. Yep. So I live streamed me spinning this wheel, and it spun, you know, it spin around and around and around. Had all thirty plus names in it that everyone that put nine twenty in last episode, and had all the names and spinning around, and it landed on a guy called Marco. That's right. So congratulations, Marco. He's actually our winner of. Um, yeah, he's our winner of, of the name tag. Actually, I think I still got a copy paste from the stream. So, yep, do. There you go. Copy paste from the screen. Congratulations, Marco. I don't know if we're going to name him this episode, but yeah. So that's how we're going to be doing our random names from um, YouTube list now. We're literally going to use the Wheel of Fortune. No, I was kidding. <laughs> it's a wheel. Everybody called it the Wheel of Fortune. But yeah, so you have to join the actual live stream part of the episode if you want to see it spun, okay? That's how it's going to work, legit. Uh, <laughs> so, but you can always click the link in the description. We'll take you over to the live stream part of things, guys, the uncut version, and you can watch the wheel being spun for yourself. Just in case you think, oh, he's dodgy. He randomly selected that day. He pulled the name. He, he's so in with Marco. Marco must have donated or or, 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 or something. <laughs> no, Marco is just a random name right out of chat. Okay, so that's now done. All right, that's now done. I turned, I've been over to the farm recently. I turned some string into wool so we can get beds finally. I've got some ender pearls to get us up and down. And I brought home a bunch of... Uh, Iron, which I've already converted from nuggets over to iron itself. The sun setting will jump in a bed in a second. There we go. Throw that in there. All right. So what we need to do this episode is we need to get the drop shoot. Now we've got plenty of suggestions. So jump in a bed. Um, jump in a bed. So we're going to get this drop, drop shoot done. All right. So let's head up the top straight away and do some brainstorming. It's brainstorm time. So up we go. Of our helivator. Well, it's just vines and chains and and stuff. <laughs> All right. Um, up, 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 up to the very top floor. There we go. I really should, uh, you know, open that up instead of jumping through the window. Okay. So, we had a bunch of suggestions for, for what we're building. So, what we're building is an iron farm. An updated iron farm. This iron farm is a little different. Uh, because they changed how iron farms worked again in 1.16.2. Ah, forever. Ah, for ouch. I almost got it. I almost got it. Let's try that again. Nope. No, 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 no. Ah. Okay, fine. All right, we won't get up there. <laughs> we don't need to get up there. But anyway, so how iron farms now actually work is 
Um, you're, you're meant to scare the villagers. Everybody knows that. That's actually part of the last patch. You're meant to scare those villagers and they'll produce an iron golem. All right? Yeah, we got all that down, Pat. But recently they added um, you needed to... Uh, you need to, there was a cooldown, so the whole village can burn out from spawning iron golems because they're constantly getting scared, so they got like a burnout timer, and you have to reset the entire village for the farm to keep functioning, which kind of sucks, you know, that's, that's a pretty big ouch, if you ask me, but everybody's come up with a lot of simple solutions, sometimes People have put uh, zombies in water with a fence block uh, underneath and they bob up and down. They just sort of see just a line of sight. So they sort of, it sort of blocks the line of sight um, from the zo from the villagers seeing the zombie. So it sort of does a reset. And uh, yeah, it doesn't, you, it doesn't do the whole getting burnt out, you know, thing. So there's that one. There's the redstone. And there's also a minecart version where somebody literally just takes the zombie and drives it away to another platform with different iron, with different um, different villages in it. So you can have like literally like a four spread out platform. I've seen one of these four spread out platform right around if you want a fast iron golem farm and a zombie in a cart just literally going from one scare to another scare to another scare to another scare. Literally, it's a little bit of a cool down every time they got to get scared for the the iron golem. But I've seen that one too. <laughs> now, obviously, each one of them has their own um, own good negatives and positives, okay? So always remember that. Like, the one in the water, the bobbing wand water, read the comments. Some people say their village literally still burns out after a while because they've done it wrong. Um, the minecart uh, gets stuck on a corner, like, does that drift thing, gets stuck on a corner. I've seen them all, like, and the redstone stops working. So there's, like, literally faults to every iron farm. Some of them you will get working absolutely flawlessly. Don't get me wrong, you, some of them you might have the bobbing one and it did never burnt out. Some of you may have the, the, the minecart one and never burnt out, but I chose the redstone one. We're going to build a little bit of a redstone one. We're going to block them with trapdoors. That was our, that's our goal. That is literally our goal, to block them with, with trapdoors. But we're literally up to the stage of just putting our zombie, our name, our Marco, inside the cell and four villages inside the cell so that part we'll do later on a little bit of redstone it shouldn't be that much but what i'm thinking of now is we need to put the drop shoot in so i asked everybody last episode <laughs> i last last ev everybody i asked everybody last episode what should i do with the drop shoot got some really good ideas some fantastic ones now one stood out i really like one how they said, data, make it a bit round, make the drop shoot a bit round instead of square, and make it go straight through the base, straight down on every floor, so you can see the golems go, wah, wah, wah. So instead of having, like, they drop down into a lava pool here, and we collect the iron, then we've got to transport the iron some, you know, somewhere, hide all those hoppers, transport them downstairs like that, uh, well, over to the to the thing like that. How about we we drop them down to the bottom floor to see it all like in action? I thought that was that stood out. To be honest, that definitely stood out the most. So I figured that's probably one we're going to aim for. And I'm just being honest because I like that. I want to see these golems drop down. And yeah, to put them in the silos, which will be in one of the towers, we'll just use a water elevator. Very simple, very easy. So what we need to do really quickly before we because once we put those those zombie and villages in there it's got they're gonna it's gonna start spawning so to be honest the 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 drop probably needs to be done asap if you know what i mean i don't want to have 20 iron golems up here to deal, <laughs> deal with because i screwed up so let me if i can do this real quick get the square hole done so i'm looking straight down throwing it straight down i landed on it perfect back up so that one, that one, that one, looking straight up, just checking, yep, that's perfect, double check that, alright, now let's look straight down, alright, what the, okay, alright, <laughs> alright, so get that, 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 alright, perfect, so we have marked that nicely, alright, that goes, so we're going to have this cool pipe going straight down. We're going to make it look good, obviously, make it look good. 
So, oh, before you ask, you're like, Data, what are you doing with the vines here? I was just growing a couple of extra. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Um, so I got, we got plenty of glass. Remember, we had tons left over from the, the build in the nether. Um, I'm pretty sure there's glass. See, glass everywhere. Go ahead also and get some polished stone. Yep, going to need that. All right, we're going to need chains and stuff like that very soon because we're going to make it look very dark and, and good stuff like that. Okay, so come over here. This is where they will all land. All right, they, they, will, they will literally all land here. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, they will all hopefully get cooked there. I'm just thinking whether to take them even further down. Do we take them further down? We don't take them further down. Okay, all right. So, yeah. all right. So what we need to do is we need to... Hmm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm sort of um, thinking. I'm thinking because... Do I cook them here, in front of everybody? Like, this will be the cook station. I'm dying! Ah! <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Um, okay, so what we need to do is fix this really quick. That. Um, now, what we need to do is we need to make it round. So not too big. Don't go crazy, okay? One, two, maybe corner block. One, two, corner block, one, two, corner block, one, two, corner block, round. Perfect. That's where they cook. So then we take our glass from here. Yep. Dub, 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 dub. All right. There we go. And go straight up. Okay. Just, just take this straight up for now. I want, I'll do, I'll do the whole thing in a second. So take it straight up. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Take it up. All right, so once we get to this section here, go ahead and open her up like that, but stop here. All right, take your smooth stone. Go ahead and put the smooth stone on it. So what we're going to do is put a three layer of smooth stone in between the floor brackets. You get what I'm saying? So in between the floors, there's going to be a center block. All right, you'll probably find once the it comes through here, what we'll probably end up doing is cutting out a lot more of the floor here so we can sort of look up the tube right to the top floor sort of thing if you know what i mean but for now we'll just keep it like this so go ahead and just sort of cut out the sh rough shape now which i'm pretty sure i'm doing correctly so there is it be there yep yep there um and and there and then what we're going to do is put some hopefully some uh some decoration on this it's not going to just not going to be just a plain old tube no no it's like the wheel of fortune it was very colorful and you spin it and say like, congratulations to this person marco <laughs> oh crikey it was great fun that's how we're definitely doing all our naming from now on the wheel of fortune all right there we go so that hole will continue like we'll do the whole three thing yep thicken it up Okay, so what I'll do is grab, jump, jump on a jump cut, guys. Okay, and I'll complete the tube going up to this level and the next level, so on, so on. So give me a bit. I got plenty of glass. So let me go ahead and just jump into getting the tube done. Okay, and we'll go from there. So I will be back shortly. All righty then, guys. I am back now. That is installed right to the top so we definitely have a very nice uh tube going directly straight up look see right up to the top as i was saying when i was installing it that we cannot remove the blocks on the side up the top there because water will literally flood down and we don't want that so it looks like all the iron golems will be pushed in directly into the center and probably to be honest will never hit the sides here these sides are just mainly for for decoration and that's about it it's literally for mainly decoration that's a pretty good screenshot let me let me take that there we go boom i took a screenshot okay so let's get out of here sleep keep those nasties at bay real quick nom, 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 nom. at least i didn't slip out of bed like last time i literally went slip that was one of, one of the episodes all right so now i want to do a little bit of decorating so what i need to do is find a neutral point that i need to work on 
Okay, so I've got... I should get a stack of dirt for this. Yay, stacks of dirt for scaffolding. Alright, got scaff uh, scaffolding blocks. So what I'm going to do is scaffold up. I'm going to count five. One, two, three, four, five. And I say I'm going to put a block there. Just temporarily. Okay, then I'm going to go directly to the top. Alright, where the dark point. This is where it's really dark. Alright, I'm going to get... Um, one, two, three... Four, five. I want to find a neutral point. Okay, so is that a five? Did I do a... Oh, did I count the bottom? Yes, no, I didn't. So that's five. That's technically five. There's neutral. Let's take it back by one. So there. And here. All right, so that leaves a dead center. Perfect. All right, that's what I want. That's what I was after. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to do some cringe breaking yep that's what we can call it just cringe breaking so cringe away everybody cringe away so we'll break these bye 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 smash them up all the way along and go ahead and put some smooth stone directly around right around here smash 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 as far as you can reach perfect run over this side all right, so what I'm trying to do is light it up a little bit more. So I'm not doing too much decoration on it because things can change, like especially the floor. We're moving the floor outwards and probably putting some pillars and making this the centerpiece. So things will like change a lot later on. But for now, I'm just getting things like started, you know, because technically this is going to be a very used pipe. Like, like this pipe is going to be used quite a lot. There we go. I like it. I can get rid of this. All right, was that on the fifth one? That's totally on the fifth one. Ah, what the? One, two, three, four, and that's on the fifth one. Okay, I thought I found the neutral center, but I guess I didn't. Ah, that's gonna kill me now. That's gonna bother the blooming bejesus out of me. Hang on a sec. One, two, three, four. Oh, fuel. That one's four, two. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I was thinking, uh oh, Data, you've done it now. But that's on the fourth block, so that still is fine oh that's still fine so can we reach from here yes smash throw in and just smash no of course i did i should have did this while i built the flame and thing and wrap this around too and somebody suggested putting colored glass in um to be honest uh the we sort of leaving it clear so we can definitely see through it but i'm I'm not opposed to maybe putting a couple of rings now and then, you know, getting some decoration going at some sort of point in the future. So don't stress too much if you're probably wanting to see that as well. I love those tips. Keep them coming, guys. Yeah, that's looking good. I like. I like. Actually, it should be probably kept with the floor there. I didn't think about that, but we'll just keep going. I can always move it later once I find the roughly the same. What is that neutral point? So it's there. That neutral... No! Did I get that neutral point all the way around? I think I did. Okay. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Didn't even mean to do that. So that is damn cool. I like that. Now, go ahead and grab yourself some stairs. Yep. Go ahead and pop those stairs here. Oh, wrong way, Data. Stairs up. And then what we need to do is bring it out some a bit more like that and then we put it th uh, nope 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 ah, bottom data bottom perfect all right that's just a little bit we're just popping them out a little bit okay here we go so come over here do the same thing upside down there we go try jump up actually i should do one side first because i don't know what this is gonna look like <laughs> oh struth you've done it now all right let's just do that side anyway all right screw it all right, done. We'll, we'll, we won't do the other sides because, hey, you just, you never know. All right, so go ahead and sort of come down now. Get some chain. Yep, grab that chain. Everybody likes the chain. Put it, drag the chain down to the central point here, which is right here. Grab a couple of soul lanterns and hang them off. Oh, that's not soul lantern data. That's a chain. Like that. And that's dead center. Let me have a look. Ah, that's the axe. All right. All right, 
suck up some of this stuff. Oh, flame and galah. We are on to some good stuff here. See what I mean? Making it fit into the base. It's gonna work. That there is gonna flame and work, guys. So I'll do like every side and that's just gonna keep the light up. But to be honest with you, the floor here is probably gonna come back. Like I'll probably get a proper circle going dead in the floor, like right around so we can see right up the tube, you know? I like to see right up there, so go ahead and just remove like a, a, a nice circle. So I'll probably use plots. Plots is great. If, you, if you're if you struggling to get a circle size, plots will help you. And eventually, like myself, you'll remember some of the sizes off by, <laughs> off by heart. Um, and making circles in Minecraft, it becomes much easier, much easier. But yeah, so I'll use plots and probably get a nice maybe... 21 22 has to has a two center not a one center so about about that round that probably just being totally yeah totally totally honest right around that goes right up the top you should be able to see we might even put some put some glass in the no can we we might be no See about putting glass in the water floor and going through it but then i thought no because the chamber for the iron farm is probably going to be a lot more um a lot more what's gonna call it uh, 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 uh it's gonna cover that so that's what i was trying to say but up up we go and now we should put the rest of these in actually i should have just yeah i need to put the rest of this stuff in now that's coming along perfectly oh all right all right it's good and then the, and the neutral center is exactly this neutral center here too <sighs> That, that, that turned out better than I expected. So when the floor's built out a little bit, the because there will be a floor that's built out a little bit, just sort of a like a veranda, in, in a internal veranda going around, add some pillars in, that would look really nice as well. But I'm, I'm trying to, probably going to go for more of a plant theme this time around and like maybe put more plants and different color floor and definitely see through. Um, yeah, make it, make it totally different there. And then we got multiple floors to play with. It's so dark. Hang on, let me put a torch in. Yay, I can see. <laughs> oh, flame and glow. Boom, boom. And then, boom, boom, boom. All right. Excellent. So that should work nice and well. Get rid of that. And I'll just sort of scaffold up and put those rest of those in place. Did I do the other side? No, I didn't. I, let me just get rid of all this. It's going to ruin my screenshot if I don't get rid of all this. There we go. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to use a plots um, to tell me how to do the next part. Uh, the circle part of things, get that right. Because it's a big circle, not a, sh not a little baby one. Alright, so do that. And then, the, oh, nope. Oh, again, screwed that up. One back, cross done okay give me where's me shovel did i break it no i didn't break it so now we have to get rid of all the torches on the roof spawn a zombie because that will probably be the first thing get a zombie get marco you know in his cell because he's going to be in there for the next hundred plus episodes <laughs> it's going to be his internal prison yeah like, you know it's going to be there forever all right so come down there we go let's get the rest of these installed all right, go straight up. Get the chains out. Chains and out, out. This goes down by two, yes. And then lanterns. There we go. Just to ratchet the rest of the base. There's no center, to be honest. It needs to be one lantern, just saying. But there's a two center to the entire base now. So a little bit of a pain in the bum. There we go, boom, boom. All right. And I think that's the center on that one. That's done and dusted. Come around here. Oh, boom. All right. Ah, sideways chain. Come here. Thank you. Sideways chain now taken care of. All right. Oh, is that? Yep, that's the same. All right. Let's have a look at that. Hopefully she's all done. All right. I like it. It needs some extra things, to be honest, 
but we need to remove the floor. That's that's gonna be a big thing. Zombies are spawning in here. I could just get a minecart and throw them in there. Uh, but that's a long way up. I could definitely make it a lot easier. Stop, stop. All right, so what we'll do is go straight to the roof. Let's see if we can't get a zombie name now, okay? We're going, we're going straight up. Whoa, who's shooting? Ow! Really, mate? I've really got to sit down and uh, make this place a bit more lit up like a Christmas tree. Okay, so how are we going to get a name zombie for now? What we're going to do, since it's night time, knock out a few torches. Literally just create a nice spawning area. Get them coming. Not too much. Not too much. Just just about one side should do fine. There you go. Take them all out. Look at that. Nice dark area. Over here. And alright, let's let's try get our new zombie named. That is our next step. Alright, so we'll stand over here. I've got to get these the, these things built to finish off the rest. That looks cool. I like that shot. Look at that. Come on. This, to be honest, they're probably spawning all below us. Come on, you could do it. Spawn there. Don't give me skeletons. Don't give me any of that. Does, yeah, okay. Is it too close? Am I too close? I'm trying to get further away. <sighs> okay. Alright, you know what? We'll go out this way. Get some, get some distance. Spawn a zombie! That would be nice! I'm trying to get this on cam because I know there's some, those funny people out there like, How did you get the zombie's name? Blah, 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 blah. So if we can get one... And just put him in like a dirt hut for now. Fine, you know, I'll get rid of more torches. I'll get rid of more torches. <laughs> that should do. Boom, look, torches gone. All right, nasties, come get me. I'm not talking about Nigel. I'm talking about just the zombies here. There we go. A bit more of these. Come on. Like, that's a lot of darkness there. Like, seriously. No, hello darkness, my old friend. All right, come on. That's plenty dark. It's half the bloody platform. Huh, huh, huh. I can see skellies down there. All right, we're here for a couple of minutes. Get Try to get in the spawn. Jump, jump. You know, maybe, maybe go up. Like, no, we're too close to the ground. Too many caves, too much junk. You know, all that sort of stuff. So up, 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 go. This is only dirt. Yes! Okay, that's all I wanted. Aha! I got it. Right, down, 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 down. We got this, guys. We got this. Ha <laughs> ha Alright, I'm going straight for it. Let's make him his new home for a, for a bit. We'll try we'll get him up there next episode. But he needs to sort of be protected, so you know what? Oh, oh, you know, perfect. Hey guys! How's it going? I only need one of yous. Why did you make it so hard? Ha! Get out of here. Alright, kill this one. They made it so easy for me. <laughs> Alright, up we go. Um, hello, Marco. Welcome. Welcome, you know, to your internal... Yeah. Alright, let me stick a roof on him so he doesn't cook to death. Ha 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 There we go. Alright, done. Made him, making him comfortable. Welcome to my... My iron farm. Ha 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 ha. Oh, yay, 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 Back off. No, 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 no. Don't go bang. Don't go bang. Seriously. Alright, there we go. Come on. To be honest, I don't think the sun will get through the top layer up there anyway. All right, torches, go nuts. See? Done, dusted. You know, minecart, just get him up there. That will literally be quite simple to get him. Well, hopefully, you know, Marco cooperates and, you know, we'll get him up there. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Torches everywhere. 
picking them up as I'm placing them back down. Oh, struth, oh, struth. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. Next episode, we're going to install the redstone, get some villagers and Marco up into him, up into the proper cells, and we should be good to go. The iron farm should start producing. I think what I've got to do off cam now is I'm going to put more of the other sides of those installed because we've got to get more of the base done. It looks so plain and nasty up here. We need we need more of it. So, yeah, we need to get that decorated, that, that all... Uh, done too all right guys thanks for watching episode 32 here of minecraft down under don't forget if you are enjoying the content make sure you smash those buttons guys and i'll catch us all later